This is my half of the closet. It's where I keep most of my clothes. There are 55 pieces of clothing hanging on this rod. There are 27 pairs of pants on that shelf. And there's a pile of laundry over there in the corner. But that's not where this clown car of clothing stops. Oh no, let's add in the 13 ties which I never wear. And let's not forget about the drawers which are stuffed like pizza pockets with clothes that fell out of favor years ago but I've just kept hanging on to for some weird reason. But wait, there's more. Over here in this dresser where I keep my dainties, my unmentionables, if you will. I also keep my shorts and active wear here. And this is also home to my beloved t-shirt collection. Now I'm no fashion plate, and contrary to popular belief, I'm not a male model, so there's no real reason for me to have this many clothes. The truth is, I probably only wear about 20% of the items I've shown thus far in the video. And that got me to thinking, what if I were to get rid of half of the clothes in my closet? I had no idea where to start this process, so I threw caution to the wind, I threw on some rush, and I just started grabbing clothes and made two piles. One pile will be a stays pile, those are clothes that I'm keeping, and the other is a goes pile, which will have all of the clothing that will be donated, given away, or sold. So how did I decide where each piece of clothing would end up, you may ask? Well, that's an excellent question and my answer is pretty stupid because I just kind of winged it. I was literally just trying to remove 50% of the clothing in my closet, so that meant for every shirt I wanted to keep, I had to get rid of a shirt. And that strangely created a little popularity contest in my head where it became easier to part with pieces of clothing I only kind of liked versus pieces of clothing that I really, truly love. So I did my best to keep track in my head about the difference between the two piles and that was made easier by being able to get rid of a lot of the clothing that I just don't wear anymore. I have like eight dress shirts and I only need three. I have five blazers and I'd have more than enough with, again, three. And did I mention 27 pairs of pants for some reason? When I got to the bins of clothing, it got even easier because this is the stuff I haven't worn in over two years. So with the exception of a few soccer jerseys and these very comfortable shorts, I got rid of a lot of stuff. I'm definitely keeping the Blue Jays jersey. I'm also going to hang on to this t-shirt and this t-shirt, but it's probably time to part with the dumb ways to die shirt. Next we'll tackle the drawers, and all of this clothing has sat here for like 18 months, so it's pretty easy just to part with most of this stuff. I remember buying these colorful pants during my colorful pant phase. Let's not forget these shin guards for all the soccer I play. And finally, the ties. I figure I'm safe with three nice ties, so I can part with the rest of them. So there we go. Here is a cat for scale. We have two huge piles of clothes, and I submit that the goes pile is a solid 25% larger than the stays pile. So we're off to a great start. Before we go any further, I need to free up some of the space on the bed, so I'm going to put all of the clothes that are going to be staying in my wardrobe back into the closet and hang everything up nice and neatly. 
It was at this point that Molly decided to roll on out. So let me take this opportunity to thank Molly for all of her hard work and her help this afternoon. Okie dokes, let's tackle my undercrackers. Now I remember a few years back when Melissa had to show her underwear on camera and she said it was a little weird. Well, Melissa, I now understand why you said that. It's weird to show your underwear on camera. Now we can sort my socks. I have a huge collection of socks, colorful ones, funny ones, but also a lot of old ones that I rarely wear anymore. Uh, and it's really nice to move on from those. In this bottom drawer, that's where I keep my active wear and my shorts. And I easily managed to move half of that stock out of there. Uh, and maybe someone else might be able to actually be active in that active wear. And that brings us to the final drawer, a very important drawer, my beloved t-shirt collection. I was really nervous about parting with the t-shirts, but I applied the same reasoning to them, keep the ones that I love, move on from everything else, and it really wasn't all that hard at all. But as for my Sacred Steely Dan 2017 Tour t-shirt, it must reside somewhere special. In a special drawer, all by its special self, as a tribute to those Yacht Rock gods. So I may not have hit the 50% mark with my t-shirts, but I made up for it in other areas, so that's okay with me. You may remember this shot from seven and a half minutes ago. This is what my overstuffed closet looked like before. But now I have a reasonable amount of clothing and a closet which is substantially less overwhelming, making it easier to find the clothes that I actually want to wear. I won't lie, I love my new closet situation. And honestly, it still feels like I have more clothes than I realistically need, but it's so refreshing to be free of those storage bins and the 27 pairs of pants. And over here in my dresser, I've slimmed down my selection of underwear. My sock collection is also well under control. I still have way too many socks. My shorts and my active wear has been totally tamed and I still have enough for any active activities. And lastly, my t-shirt collection still offers me a wide selection to choose from even though I have slimmed it down quite a bit. And that leaves me with one final job. I need to find the best way to donate all of this clothing. And I'm also kind of interested in selling a few of my really nice items. But look at how much stuff I'm parting with. I never thought that it would be quite this much. I'm excited to give this clothing some newfound usefulness and I'm excited to free up all of this space in my closet. When Melissa got home later that night, I was excited to share my success with her. However, she didn't seem as excited as I was. She mentioned something about wanting to go to bed and asked me why I piled them on her side of the bed or something like that. I, I, I really wasn't listening. So I piled them in the corner. I briefly flirted with the idea of turning them into a chair. 
or maybe a nightside table, but I've got to get rid of them. And I was thinking about filming a follow-up video, which talked all about donating clothing and furniture and everything else. I know we get a lot of questions about it. So let me know in the comments down below if you would like to see a follow-up video all about donations and donating clothing. All right, folks, as always, thanks very much for watching. If you would like to follow any of my out of the closet adventure, wait, that didn't sound right. If you'd like to follow any of my adventures when I'm out of my closet, follow me on Instagram. I'm at the Chad Reynolds. Be sure to subscribe to the Clean My Space channel for more great videos like this one and give this video a like if you liked it. Thanks for watching.